Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be tearing apart this pressure washer pump. This was one that was on my own 9 horsepower Honda pressure washer until recently. It was working fine one day until it started losing pressure and when I looked over it there was a pile of oil just underneath the pump on the ground and there was very little pressure in the pump and it wasn't sounding too good either. So we're going to tear it apart and see what caused it to fail. When it lost its oil I was able to see that it was dripping from the area between the housing and the engine. This here is just a sort of an adapter that bolts onto the generic bolt pattern of the Honda engines and this is where the pressure washer's pump starts. So in here there's a seal on the one inch shaft and we can see that that seal has popped out. It's just loose there so that's what caused it to lose its oil and then caused the damage inside. There's no oil in this pump anymore, so I can remove the end plate and we can take a look in. My guess is it's going to be one of the, the con rods or maybe one of the bearings. Something has either bent, season, seized or broke. Due to lack of oil. And immediately inside we can see the culprit. You can see the center con rod has probably maybe seized on and then when it's come back up its stroke has just broken the end, the bearing part off. We have another side cover on this side. This is what holds I think the shaft in place. Once we remove this hopefully we can Take the shaft out. And here we can see we have a nut or a bolt. It's a thirteen mil. Hopefully we can tap the shaft out that direction I think. I've brought it over to the press here and we're going to press the shaft out. It has to pass through the big end of the three con rods and then also through the bearing either side. So that's it loose there. We'll be able to tap it out with a hammer the rest of the way. So that's our shaft out now. Nice roller bearing in the end. And there was a larger roller bearing in the far end. So it definitely had to come out this way. We had the middle rod had broken on the big end as we saw and the end rod was also broken down lower but that might have happened when we pressed it out I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the head of the pump now. I'm going to take off our three caps Inside here we have our three valves, which we should be able to pull out. They're essentially only a one-way valve, 
so there'll be a plastic clip and an o-ring and inside in the very center we have a spring and a little seal it should be either in this case it's a little probably a stainless steel plate or it could be a ball bearing style either so we have three of those they're a commonly serviceable part next we can remove the head itself The end one is a little bit rusty. We should be able to separate the whole cylinder and head now. Pistons will probably, don't know, they might come out with it or not. No, they'll probably be retained in the block of the pump. So there's our three pistons or plungers. This is called a a triplex pump or a piston pump or a plunger pump Let's see will they come out the whole way yep there's the one that came out with its rod which is well chewed up Looking at the block of the pump, we have three seals. These prevent water from leaking past the bottom of the plungers into the gear case. Then on the cylinder and head side of things, we have another set of seals. And at the bottom of the cylinder, we have another three set of valves. And there is, these are in the opposite direction in relation to the outlet valves. So these control the intake of water. These correspond to this galley here, which is your water inlet. So on the intake stroke of the piston, it will open the valve, spring will go back, and it will allow water in. Then on the exhaust, or the compression stroke of the piston, it will close that automatically, because there will be pressure on this side of it, so it will remain closed. And on the outlet side, which is here, it will open and allow the water pressure to come out through here, past the unloader, and out to your pressure washer lance. Looking at the three plungers or three pistons, this black material seems to be different to the piston itself. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's a ceramic coating or something that's harder and more wear resistant than the steel. So that's what one of these pumps looks like when it's taken apart. They're a reasonably straightforward pump with all basic principles to understand. They are serviceable in so much as the valves are replaceable and I'm sure the seals are as well and bearings if you really wanted to. The main thing maintenance wise is to keep the correct level and viscosity of oil in them and make sure that the water is filtered fully before entering the pump. Also that the unloader valve is working so it's not putting too much pressure and causing too much heat within the pump 
which can cause wear 